Look here, shit really getting ready to hit the fan around here, all right? Now I'm gonna need each one of y'all to pull away to three or four men, all right? I can't handle more setbacks, so I'm gonna need y'all to pay attention. I'm gonna need y'all to pay attention to your surroundings. Watch everything that goes on, all right? And I'm gonna need y'all out there hustling. I'm gonna need y'all out there hustling hard. Nobody walks, all right? I want y'all to sell, sell, sell. If they wanna spend their hard earned, let it be with us. They get every cent they got. Yo, Lily Kravitz, back the fuck away from the mall. Shut up! Boxing to me is my passion, it's my life, it's my love, it's what I've been doing all of my life. You know, I am married to boxing. There's no divorce in boxing. I've, I've always been a fighter, you know, and I've always watched Muhammad Ali. Like, and it made me wanna, you know, like I, I would watch him and say, I can do that. I don't train a lot of people because I don't believe in just one training someone just because they're gonna pay me to do it. When I talk to the people and they say, that, especially like the kids, okay, if they want to box, I'll say, okay, we'll come in and we'll try it. You know, I'll start teaching them whatever. But I'll tell them right away, one, it's gonna be a lot of hard work. It's not all just what you see on TV. When you see the guys on TV and they're in the ring and they're boxing, that is the result of months and months and years of training, you know. So you have to be willing to do this in order to prevail in the ring. You know, the chessboard, as you see, it stays on the desk. Chess, you have to sit back, you have to take in everything, you have to be very observant, and you have to, to think not what you want to do right now, what are the consequences with making this move. Mm -hmm. And you also have to think about, why did that person just do that to me? Why did that person just move that piece there? You know, you have to analyze these things when playing chess. Like, for one, I'm a boxing purist. I'm, I'm a boxer, that's it. Technical boxer, that's what I'm about. To jab, stick and move, and hit and not get hit. I teach the art, the science of boxing. The first fight is always uh, a big test. It's a big test. It's uh, it's like what the moment we're all waiting for. We need to know how you're going to respond once the lights are on and there's people in those seats and it's a real fight. You know what happens in the gym doesn't always carry over into the ring. In the ring, at least for me, everyone's different. 
Some people say, Coach, I never even heard you, but they hear everybody else. Some people say, I don't hear anything but you, Coach. For me, I heard my trainer and my brother. Stay in the box, stay in the box. There you go, now, now move. Keep coming, keep coming, back to the stairs. Keep on the stairs, the stairs. The other way, you came the wrong way. Come to me, come to me, come to me. I love boxing. Being in the ring to me is being at home. I love it. It's the most exhilarating thing ever. I mean, I really, really love it. I get high. Like, if I'm if my knee hurts or my back hurts, all I gotta do is get in the boxing ring and start moving around. Nothing hurts. Yaya McLean has done what you have done before him. From a world-class boxer to a world-class author of his book, titled, Let's Steal! My name is Yaya McLean. I'm the middle child of three boys. We grew up in the projects on the south side of Jamaica, Queens, New York. The ghetto. My father was killed when I was about two and a half, three years old. My father's death left my mother all alone to raise three boys. Statistically speaking, we were supposed to end up dead or in the penitentiary at a very young age. But we beat the odds. I graduated high school, went to college, joined the Marine Corps, and still sold drugs with the best of them. Escobar's death did not shut down the drug business. And got high with the worst of them. But I also became a two-time world champion boxer. And still. And I was blessed to have dated, you know, some of the world's most beautiful women. I trained, managed, promoted. And new middleweight champion of the world, Layla Ali! I married Layla Ali. I also wrote, directed, produced, and starred in my own film. I've been in more street fights and shootouts than one could ever imagine. I'm blessed. I sit before you today as a very humble Muslim with some real and down-to-earth stories to tell. And in my book, I get into the details of my life, about all the ups and downs from having all the money, the women, the fame, all those things that come with boxing, Hollywood, and the glorified dope game. After reading my book, you will either learn or be reminded of some very valuable life lessons from the good and the bad. But most of all, you will see that every time the deck was stacked against me and I thought that I was right, I went forward, no matter equipped lightly or heavily. And every time, I came out all right. In favor of the winner, 